it says a region R in this XY plane. Okay, so this is a region in R, the yellow highlighted, yellow highlighted region. This is called R. Okay. The R is bounded by this four line over here. So we draw over here. Um, notice that this corresponds to the brown one right here is this one over here. The purple is this this one over here. Y equal to one minus X over here is the green one over here. Y equal to three minus X is this orange nice segment over here. They intersect at this four point. So we get this four nice segment enclose this region of. We're trying to find equations for transformation T that map a rectangular region S in the UV plane and then onto this onto this region R in this XY plane. The each side of the S is going to be parallel to the U and V axis. So uh, let's try to draw, I'm going to draw this UV over here. So why right under this, I have this UV plane over here. So we try to find a region S, which is going to be a rectangular shape that is going to map to this R here on this XY plane. So let's find out what kind of transformation we can put over here. First of all, this equation over here, y equal 2x minus 1. Now we want to rewrite this. Let's try to rewrite this. So we try to get a constant. The reason that is a rectangular, right? So we want the u and v. So we want the u and v over here. It's going to be bounded by some constant. That way, we're going to have a rectangle. So we're trying to make some constant over here from this. How about we keep this, keep the negative one on this side. And now we can have y minus 2x is equal to negative one. Also, from the second equation here, keep this one here. I also come up with y minus 2x equal to one. Uh, notice that here you have y minus 2x. Here you also have y minus two x. Okay, so that that's the reason in thinking. Of, hmm. If I let u to be that, the u is going to be actually between negative one and one. So because the format of these two equation, you see there's a pattern. It says y here two x here, y here two x here, and if you put the y and x to the same side of the equation, you actually have y minus two x here and equal to a constant negative one here and one here. So it makes sense to let u to be y minus two x over here. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna want this to be u. So we let u to be y minus two x. And similarly, uh, this two equation over here looks like they have this very similar format here. So from this, we're going to have actually y plus x here equal to 1, y plus x here equal to 3. So similarly, if we let the v over here to be y plus x or x plus y, then that way we can have the v being bounded by 1 and 3. So that's, the, that's some suggestion over here. So the way that we choose the uh, what we're going to let u and v be, uh, to look at the format of the equations and try to think about can I have well can I have this side here to be a number and this side here to be a same expression in mark x and y. So it turned out to be like that. So then you can let this part here to be u. And then you know u here is going to be, from this, you know u is going to be between negative 1 and 1. And then from this, if I let v to be this, I'm going to let v to be x plus y, then v is going to be between 1 and 3.
So since boundary curve are mapped to boundary curve under transformation, so this two equation here is going to define a transformation that map this R into this S on this UV plane because you see U and V are expressed in terms of X and Y. The transformation that we're looking for is the reverse of this transformation because we try to map this S here to this region R. So if this is called the transformation T, this is the T inverse. If we to find the transformation T that map the region S on the UV plane to this region R on the XY plane, we just need to solve this system of two equations, solve for X and Y. To do that, notice that in this equation, this equation, on the right side, they both have Y. If we subtract the two equations, we're going to get u minus v is equal to negative 2x minus x, which is negative 3x. If we divide both sides by negative 3, we get x is v minus u over 3. From the second equation, we get y is v minus x. And substituting x equal to this, we get y equal to 2 over 3v plus u over 3. Another way to write this is y equal to 1 third times this quantity u plus 2v. So we have solved this two equation for x and y and come up with this. So the transformation that map S region to this region R is x equal to 1 third times the quantity V minus U and Y is equal to 1 third times the quantity U plus 2V. This is one possible transformation that map this region S on the UV plane to this region R in the xy plane. Notice that there are many transformations that can map this s to this r. However, this transformation is a convenient one that we can easily find.